Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. I'm back with yet another Epic Universe update. It's been a while since we've done one of these, so I'm very excited. All these photos are from Bio Reconstruct. So uh, definitely follow him on Twitter. He'll, he will fly above all the Orlando parks and sometimes California parks and uh, give some good up updates. So let's start here. This is with the classic Monsters Land. And you can see there's the main attraction right there with the, the Kuka Arm. Dracula type attraction and that is obviously the further furthest along the built entire building is almost enclosed now You can see the queue and extended queue building starting to take shape and almost be wrapped in scaffolding, which is quite nice and This land will also have a roller coaster and then in future expansion might have a boat ride which would be pretty cool But right now you can see the footers for the coaster in that dirt patch all the way at the top of the picture and the main dark ride all enclosed. Here's where the coaster will be. That station, that building right there, will either be the station or the maintenance building. I'm not entirely sure, but see the footers. This will be a mock, a rumor to be a mock spinning coaster. It was supposed to be uh, like something like Cobra's Curse at Bush Gardens Tampa. Then it was rumored maybe it'll Universal upgraded to the mock extreme spinning coaster, like Time Traveler. Now it's looking more like Cobra's Curse type of uh, the smaller mock spinning coasters out there so be wary of that and this will be th most likely themed to the werewolf a, a werewolf and you'll be spinning around on and going on a nice little coaster as for the main attraction here is the what will likely be the entrance to the main attraction which will be Frankenstein's castle or Dracula's castle one of the two I forgot which one. But the thematic elements of that are starting to be formed right now. Again, you can see the main show building is being enclosed, but in the next update, it might be fully enclosed. And there's lots of scaffolding on these show buildings here, the Q buildings, as you'll be walking through the castle and encountering uh, Victoria Frankenstein herself. Um, as she has come back, she purchased these this castle. And she'll be letting out all the monsters. That is the plot of the attraction. It's rumored to be a uh, massive Victoria Frankenstein animatronic in the queue. Probably right in a pre-show right before you load up on the ride. Which will be pretty interesting. Here's an Epic Universe overview. Just the whole thing. Again, look how massive this is. Incredible. Tron has been built at Dis as under construction Disneyland since like 2017-ish. It will be open in spring 2023. This is just rapidly gone up in just such a short amount of time. It's just astonishing. But yes, you can see the monsters building that we just looked at. And then you can see in the lower right corner, the Wizard World of Harry Potter, the How to Train Your Dragon. And then there the middle is the coaster, the coaster shot. Then How to Train Your Dragons to the left hand side. And then Super Nintendo World is over in the corner over there. Those are Donkey Kong um, and Mario Kart show buildings really, uh, you know, shaping up way over there, in the top center of the screen. In the front, in the middle, you have the hub. You can see the circles. That'll be uh, there'll be three fountains. The biggest one will be a show. Then the Universal Grand Helios Hotel is under construction. That is where that tower crane is to the left. Over here is the footers. More footers for the massive racing coaster attraction that will be in the hub of the Epic Universe. No name yet, but I'm sure it will be space themed because this hub area seems to be space themed along with the hotel and the whole park itself. You're part of an epic universe and the hub could be literally be space and then you're visiting different universes within this world which is crazy which is pretty cool it does make a lot of sense in my opinion and i like it this hub coaster will be a racing coaster designed by mock as you can probably t coast enthusiasts can probably tell by the track it's a mock track and yes the track is in these the first uh, there's been a couple pieces of station track, but these are like the first actual pieces of coaster track in there. 
on the long there's all those supports right there as looks like you're coming into the station and then uh as you finished your ride this could coast could be going up to like 70 miles per hour so pretty pretty intense coaster and i'll have a couple of inversions as well it'll be almost like a successor to the dueling dragons coaster uh that was close to make way for hagrid's a few years ago and here's a super nintendo world segment this is moving along quite rapidly as always you can see all three rides under construction the yellow track on the top of the image is the yoshi omni mover attraction the big show putting to the right hand side is the mario kart attraction it's getting enclosed quite rapidly you can see the mario kart track way in between those support beams it's kind of gray it's all paved and ready to go um that's quickly getting obscured from view as the show opening continues to be under construction. And then, of course, Donkey Kong has its show opening and its multiple levels of track right on the center and the bottom of the center of the screen right there, which is pretty awesome. This will be wrapping up very quickly and probably will be the first land or universe to open, or first world to open in this epic universe as... This is the one that's based just a copy and paste of Japan's version. And so they already know they already they have duplicates of everything. It's already built out. Some of this other stuff is uh, a lot of these other attractions are prototype attractions. So those usually take a little longer with testing everything. This one might be ready to go early, especially for soft openings early in 2025, which would be quite nice. Looking here again, you can see, um, the Mario Kart show putting quickly being engulfed. There's lots of steel up. The main portion is get, getting engulfed. And you can see the racing tracks of the Mario Kart ride to the upper left hand side of the picture. Got the gray track, and then one of them is brown, the one to the north. That will get its gray treatment next. Donkey Kong, and then Mount Beanpole B is under construction set. It's blending in but it's white steel it's blending in right above the yoshi track um and then Donkey kong will be right above that here's a better shot of where mountain bean pool will be mountain bean pool will uh be again there's kind of a, kind of a tallish white mass of steel doing a very good job of blending in but that's where mountain bean pool will be and that'll be kind of the entrance to the yoshi attraction uh it'll have a turntable entrance and it's kind of like a people mover army mover attraction for the land you can see all these the povs of all these rides at the one in japan he's just searched up on youtube and our super nintendo world here in hollywood is almost done and i do updates on that every single week so you can subscribe if you want to see what's going on here in hollywood but yeah here is the donkey kong attraction you can see the real track and the falk the false track so the real track is the track that is vertical that brownish looking track it's brown to be kind of blending itself in to the rest of the land and ride that's why it changes from kind of that yellowish color to brown then you'll see false track which is that kind of that minecart horizontal track that is above the real vertical track and that will make it look like you're jumping off the tracks and switching tracks and going down between tracks just like the Mario Kart game, and it'll be absolutely stunning when it arrives in Japan in 2024, and again here in 2025, but in 2024, we'll get a first look at what this is going to look like, because it'll be a carbon copy of what's in Japan, so you can kind of visualize what's happening here, and look, here's, this will be the main lift hill or launch hill for this attraction, very family attraction, not too many drops, but very fun for everyone, because just the jumping the tracks and switching the tracks will be great, it'll be jumping over spikes and a whole bunch of opt, uh, opt obstacles cannot speak it'll be going even under a waterfall and then it'll be an extensive temple segment which will be an indoor section of the attraction which looks to be amazing this uh will be open this will be part of donkey kong country which is part of super nintendo world but it'll be separated through a wall it'll be going through another warp pipe like transitioning to another world or land of the game and this area will be entirely themed with uh, Donkey Kong themed food and snacks. And yeah, you'll be in Donkey Kong Country, which will be quite very fun. Another overview of 
the Donkey Kong attraction because he's so many footers and supports there. Uh, there's a lot going on. I can't wait to see the theming because that long, that long white building there, that'll be the temple theming for this attraction. Um, I believe the station will be located in there as well. Uh, absolutely looks fantastic. And then you see the, the portal will be in between somewhere. The Mario Kart building is the building to the right. The portal will be in between those areas in that dirt area, which looks great too. And that's going to do it for this week's Epic Universe update. I cannot wait to see the progress of this park every single week. Or every cu couple weeks and Mr. Bio Reconstruct gives us an update. I can't wait to visit the park myself in 2025. Will you be visiting the park in 2025? Let me know in the comments below. Let's take a couple days away from your Disney World vacation or you just extend the trip in general. Or will it take a couple days away from your other uh, Islands of Adventure vacation or Universal Studios Florida? Very curious how the travel patterns will work out when this is open. But uh, subscribe to Theme Park Wizard for more updates on Epic Universe and Universal content as well as Disney content in multiple theme parks here in Southern California and any breaking news out of Florida. As always, give this video a like button if you like it, share it to all your friends so they know what's going on, and as always, have a fantastic day.